Hello, and welcome to the iMyMap Getting Started tutorial. The first screen you see when you open iMyMap will provide you with the option to create a Brainstorm, Professional Mind Map, or Buzan Mind Map. The, for the purpose of this video, we will focus on the Buzan Mind Map. The Professional Map has the exact same functionality as the Buzan Mind Map. The shape and branches and colour are the only difference. The Brainstorm view allows you to quickly jot down ideas. You can find the tutorial for our brainstorm view within the help guides available on our website. Once you have selected the type of map you wish to use, you will then be provided with a number of central images to choose from. Select the central image that best reflects the topic of your mind map and click start. If you hover over any of the plus signs on the central idea, you will see the branch target icon. This will be your most useful tool in iMyMap as it is how you create, move and connect branches. The red icon will allow you to create a regular branch. To create the branch, just click and drag in the direction you wish to draw and release when you are happy. The yellow icon works in the same way, but will let you draw box branches. Box branches can contain text or images and are useful for capturing longer chunks of text neatly. The green icons used for drawing relationship arrows between branches. To use this, just click and drag from the green icon on one branch to another and let go. You will know when you are linking two branches as the branch you are linking to will be highlighted. The final icon in the branch target is blue with white arrows within it. Blue control points mean that you are able to move or reshape. Click and drag the blue icon to move your branch. You can also move the smaller blue dots along the branch to change the shape of the branch. By moving these around you can be quite creative. The blue control points can be found on the boxed branches, central ideas and other images. If you would like to move a branch from one part of the map to another, you can do so by clicking on the branch and dragging and dropping it onto the branch you wish to move it to. You will know when the branch is being dragged successfully by the shadow that appears. You can also move branches by right clicking on a branch and selecting cut or copy and then right clicking on the branch you wish to move it to and selecting paste, as you would in any other document. Now that you have created branches, you will need to add some text. To do this, simply select the branch that you want to add text to and start typing. Once you have typed out what you wish to say, press enter. To edit this text, double click on it and you will be able to edit the words. From here, you can also change the text color, the font size and type using the pop-up editor. You will also find these options under the Home tab. I will now go through how to format your branches. This will cover how to convert a branch to a box branch and vice versa, changing the alignment of text and changing the colour and shape of your branches. To convert branches to and from box branches, simply left click on the branch you wish to convert and select the convert icon in the branch tools tab. The branch tools tab will only appear when a branch is selected. You can align text on regular branches by clicking on the text and then click and dragging up and down the branch. You can also use the alignment options available in the formatting section of the Home tab. To change the branch colour, select the branch and then select the branch colour icon in the pop-up editor that appears. If you have a branch box selected, you can also change the colour and shape of the branch from this pop-up editor. Changing the branch shape from the branch tools tab when you select the branch will allow you to make your branches more organic or more linear. Once you have created your mind map, you will need to save it. You have two options, either save locally or to iMyMap Cloud, which will allow you to access your maps not only from other computers, but also from your Apple and Android devices. 
Both saved versions can be found within the File tab of iMindMap. When you first save your MindMap, select File, Save As, and depending on whether you want to save this locally or to iMindMap Cloud, select the appropriate option. You can also save your map as a template if you know you're going to reuse it often. Finally, we will show you a few tips on how to navigate effectively through your mind map. To do this, click the Find icon within the Home tab and start entering the word you wish to find on your mind map. The Find feature allows you to search for keywords on your mind map. This can also be used to find text on a branch note. The Select Area tool will allow you to select groups of branches on your map to edit or format quickly. To select an area, Select the area button from the main toolbar, then drag and drop the mouse cursor over the area of branches you wish to select. If you ever want to delete a branch, select it and simply press the delete button on your keyboard or in the home tab. If you accidentally delete an item, you can always use the undo or redo buttons in the top left hand corner of the iMindMap window. Finally, the cleanup feature is a tool which is most effective when your map gets big and messy. Using the cleanup tool will shorten branches that are too long and reduce the spacing between branches too. It makes your map more compact, allowing you to see more of your map on the screen. To clean up, simply select the cleanup button under both the layouts and home tab in order to clean up your mind map. I hope you enjoy using iMindMap. You can find all of these instructions in text by going to thinkbuzan.com hc.